Patience and planning are two key virtues faculty, staff, and students are being forced to portray as everyone in the Cal U community is adjusting to the new parking and traffic restrictions on campus. CUTV News Center's Kevin Wagner joins us with answers and reminders to the campus parking crunch. Since the beginning of the school year, parking has become a major problem here on campus. I'm Kevin Wagner. I'm here in the Cal U Weather Center to kind of offer some advice for those of you trying to find a parking spot. Again, we're up here using the green screen. Now, this is a Google Earth image, so remember that it might look a little old. But here's some orientation for you. Here's 3rd Street, Natale Student Center, Hamer and its parking lot down there. Up here you have Mandarino and its parking lot up there. Remember, those are both closed. Now, we have, ha we have had some traffic restrictions, so let's go over them first. Again, 3rd Street, once you get down here to Hamer Way and Gallagher Way, it is closed there going left. You can go right up Gallagher Way and one way straight across into the Morgan entrance to the river lot. Speaking of the river lot, that entrance is going to close as soon as we have the new section open. Where is that new section? If you haven't taken the new Riverview Drive that goes behind Everly, then you wouldn't have seen it. There's going to be a new entrance there right off of Beasel Street, and it's going to go into 200 spaces of a new section of the parking lot. Now, the way public safety has explained it to me is that here's how the traffic flow will go once that section is open. The only entrance you'll be able to make into the river lot is behind Everly at that new entrance. The exit would be right here by public safety. Now, where is overnight parking? That's a big question from a lot of people at public safety. So here's the areas that you can park overnight. Remember, behind the dorm rooms, you have those two rows. That's overnight parking. Also, the horseshoe lot, that is overnight parking as well. And also, don't forget, the river lot has now been open for overnight parking. Yes, you will have to walk a little further, but again, it might save you from getting that $10 ticket. Now, for those of you commuter students, where can you go? As we expand the view, here's the borough coming in. Where can you park? Where is there for commuter parking? Those two rows behind the dorms again. But as we head uh, up 43, don't even come down to campus. It's probably not even worth it. As you come off of 43, go up 88, and there's two, uh, two main areas for you to park. The, the park and ride, and remember the park and ride, ladies and gentlemen, two, uh, for the past two years, hasn't really been used a lot. So utilize that lot right there, and also overflow parking right by the stadium. That's where commuters can park, and also people who leave school who need to come back, that's where you can park as well. So the three things you really want to remember as you're trying to get down to campus, be patient, ladies and gentlemen. Your teachers, staff, and the bus drivers, this is new to everybody. So again, be patient and also plan ahead. Check the bus schedule when they come. And yes, it's understandable that the bus schedule changes a lot. Stay up to date and also have a plan B. See if somebody can pick you up or I'll also talk to your instructors as well on being late. Again, this is new to all of us. Hopefully I was able to clear a few things up for you. I'm Kevin Wagner in the Cal U Weather Center. Back to you guys at the desk.